Hi guys, we are at another new cemetery called the Green Jose. Green West Plains Cemetery. Uh, all right, let's show you, uh, give you a, a bit of a tour around this cemetery and let's go check it out. Right, let's go. Okay, dokey. What do we got here for you guys today? A little bit harder to read those ones. And we have here in the loving memory of Catherine, darling babe of Don and Mary Price, loved sister of Jelon, uh, Jelay, something, sorry if I got that wrong, died 8th of November 1951, age five months. Oh, that's sad. And lots and lots and lots of information there. Okay, we're on the new ones. One, two, one, two. Yep, okay, that's good. Come down here. That's a pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> fireplace. Fireplace. Not that I can see of, but yes. I'm glad the weather's turned out quite good today, actually. There's me angel and a little angel. He's lost his hand. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're all the newies. Um, something's just caught my eye, guys. Just a glimpse. And it's a magpie shaman. And a little magpie on there. Shaman. See if I can get a close up on that. Nah, that's not going to work either. Bummer. <laughs> uh, Shaman, in the loving memory of Lance Colwyn Lou, 27th, 1932, 9th of the 1st, 2008, age 75 years. Love son of Len and Neil, dear brother of Neil and Graham at rest. Rest in peace. Okay. Um, all right. This sort of, I don't know if this is free space there. Cemetery. Yes, I am in a cemetery. Thank you for that. How cool is that, guys? Wow. An anchor. He might have been a, a fisherman, maybe? 
We got these. Check that out. Check that out, guys. Wow. How cool is that? And then you have, which maybe look like a lighthouse, maybe? Grave. Yes, it is a grave. Thank you for that. Wow. That's pretty cool. In the loving memory of our dear father, Edward uh, Lemming, died 9th of November, 1932, age 88 years at rest. Rest in peace. Wow. I do like that one. Yeah, they look like lighthouses. Because you got one there. See? Looks like a lighthouse and anchor right there and i'm near a unmarked grave there's a few unmarked graves there hmm Okay, I'm going to call out for, to see if there's any spirits around. So, is there any spirits around that light to come and say hello? Okay, we have in the memory of Elizabeth Sarah Peace. Born August 26, 1832, died November 16, 1876. Also Samuel Peace, born November 3rd, 1824, died August 10th, 1884. Be good if I sort of knew of the history of this cemetery. But we can always look it up and find out that way of each cemetery. And my other, my wife does that. <laughs> my wife does. She finds all the histories and stuff while I do the walk Hide around. Now. Hide now? What do I need to hide now? Okay, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Check out this angel, guys. Nah. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. Awesome, awesome angel. And who says there's no angels? Well, there's one there. <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humour. If you don't have a sense of humour, and then your sense of humour is gone. We got some flowers down here, guys. I can't get in there because of the, uh, the iron fence. I don't want to climb over people's resting places because it means that you're being disrespectful. Uh, and I'm not like that inclined. I'm only just here to say hello and read headstones. At least that this one is coming out with the proper words at the moment. So I'm quite impressed, very, very impressed on this one. I, yeah. Hey, 
Hello. <laughs> uh, in the loving memory of our dear parents, Richard E. Y. L. Ed Hedwood, a e. Wood, died first July nineteen hundred. And Harriet E. Y. Edward, E. L. Y. W. A. R. D. Died 17th March 1943. Well, it's been pretty good in there, been well looked after for that. My nose, my nose. My... Elizabeth. Yes, we do have a spirited doll. That's the name of Elizabeth. But she's not with us. She's at home at the moment. Or there could be an Elizabeth here. Um, yeah. The only, I like these here, like... Yeah, these roses, I love those. That is awesome. I do like those games. Games, what games do you like to play? You like to play hide and seek? That's a game. I don't mind hide and seek. have what is your name what is my name my name is mark what's yours who am i talking to thank you for that i really appreciate it so what is your name i need to know who am i talking to Okay, we've got Reed in the loving memory of Eric John, 24th of the 8th, 1927, 31st of the 12th, 2006, beloved son of Albert Thompson Florence, uh, dear brother of Vera, Blaise, Mildred, Merle, Albert, Marvis, uh, Teresa, um, Frank, Roy, George, Harold, and Rhonda. That's a lot of names there. <laughs> Rest in peace, uh, was it Eric. Rest in peace, Eric. Okay, just having a bit of a scan and while it's peace and peaceful. This is our, um, actually our last cemetery for today. We started off a bit late, but that's okay. We made angel. it. Yes, there is an angel here. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Wow, you've been really, uh, been very talkative on this one. I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it, these guys. Or should I say, you spirits? <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. Love it. Someone's flowers have tipped over. I, I wonder, yeah. yeah, that'll probably tip over. No, poor thing, but I don't want to jump on their bed. No. Yeah. Okay, who do we have here? Depends on these dates. Uh, now, okay, Holman, in the loving memory of our dear mother, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I knew there was an Elizabeth here, Elizabeth Florence, died 14th December 1964, aged 79 years, also our dear father Samuel F., Died 1965, age 85 years, in God's care. Rest in peace. And there's Elizabeth. That did mention Elizabeth. They so I found Elizabeth. How's that? Hello, Elizabeth. Would you like to talk? Would you like to talk to me, Elizabeth? See, this one's not so old, but not so new. So, it's got a few cracks here and there, and now it looks like it's about to sink in. Uh, maybe the dirt's shifted underneath. Um, yeah. The earth is moving, so you get that. And then the headstone's on a bit of a lean. So I'm glad I found Elizabeth. Wow. Uh, bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Samuel. Thirst. Thirst? You thirsty? I've got some water in the car if you're thirsty. I do like this one day. Back at the anchors and the little lighthouses and stuff. That is so cool. That's awesome. Weak. Weak. Now, don't blame you there. You've been pretty active today, actually. Uh, I'm in the new area now. 
Uh, I thought I'd show you guys this because some of them are really cool. And uh, it's all brand new. All brand new stuff. Um, and you have horseshoe, yeah, that's why it's going off, is the horseshoe metals. Yeah. We have price, uh, treasured memories of Ray Cliff, Sam. Passed away on the 6th of August, 1999, aged 76 years, beloved husband of Catherine, uh, adored father of Pam, Caroline, Julie, and their families. And yes, they would have a guardian angel here. So rest in peace, Ray. Rest in peace. A guardian, yes, thank you. With your guardian angel that's looked after him. Uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with this video, guys, because the spirits here have been very active. Pinpointed a few things here and there. That's been blooming awesome. <laughs> really awesome. But I'm going to leave it at that. Time to leave it at that, guys. That time of the day now. Um, I'm, we might visit one cemetery that's close to home, maybe. Um, if not, probably be straight home. But we'll see how we go, and we'll go from there. So, ciao for now, guys. And hopefully, we'll get out soon again. I know it's going to be a wet week. So probably won't be able to get out if it's wet. So yeah, we'll catch you later on. Ciao for now, guys, and we'll see you soon.